Hi, I'm Chris Crow. I lead the engine business for the fire and emergency market. Cummins always appreciates what first responders are doing for their communities, especially now with all the challenges of COVID-19. Because of the pandemic, we might not be able to show you our latest products at shows and events, so we put together a short overview of what we've been working on to deliver even better products for you in 2021. Cummins has been powering the fire service since 1937. Over time, requirements and emission standards continue to change. 2021 is a new emission year for us with more stringent greenhouse gas regulations. This means reducing carbon dioxide emissions, which we do mostly by improving fuel economy. The good news is that we've been able to meet these tougher targets by improving our existing technology instead of having to add additional emissions equipment. Overall, you'll see that we've focused on improving reliability, performance, and maintenance intervals across all the engines used in emergency vehicles. We'll start with the L9, which is the most common engine for emergency vehicles and typically rated between 350 and 450 horsepower. It gets some significant hardware improvements to further improve reliability, stronger performance curves, and some improvements to maintenance intervals over older versions. Derek Kiesler, Medium Duty Product Manager, is here to share some of the highlights. Derek, what's new on the L9? Cummins knows that reliability is critical for your application and that you need the engine system to operate consistently every time you turn the key. That's why we approach the EPA 2021 L9 with continued reliability improvements in mind. Examples of this can be found in the head gasket material and capability improvements to handle the most aggressive application duty cycles in temperature environments. Similarly, internal hardware improvements were made to the turbocharger actuator, plus the addition of improved coolant venting to handle the most challenging running and hot shutdown conditions. An improved EGR valve design is introduced to build upon its reliability improvements and resist faults. In addition, the block's oil pan rail and the oil pan gasket have been re-engineered to improve sealing capability. To improve product performance, we lowered the EPA 2021 L9 peak torque speed, which provides full torque over a wide operating range and therefore improved drivability with less downshifting required on grade. In an effort to get the most out of every drop of diesel and reduce greenhouse gas emissions, we reduce parasitic losses in the engine system through reduced and optimized piston ring tensions and coatings. We modified camshaft valve timing to reduce pumping work in their handling system. We also optimize water pump speeds to provide required system cooling without unnecessary coolant flow. Each of these changes were approached with a focus on reliability as the top priority and zero willingness to trade off reliability for performance or efficiency. With the updated and improved L9, we delivered a product certified to EPA 2021 Greenhouse Gas Phase 2 requirements without having to introduce new technologies or sacrificing reliability and durability. Our goal was to deliver these improvements with proven technologies and designs, which we accomplished. To assist in meeting the challenging requirements, the next generation engine control module provides increased computing capabilities to enable the thousands of calculations required per second to meet emissions and run diagnostics required. All this is done while keeping the interface to the OEMs common with the EPA 2017 product. Cummins also took a long look at the total cost of ownership and made significant improvements in 2021 products for our customers. For instance, we totally redesigned the crankcase ventilation system to eliminate the need to change crankcase breather filters. Now, it is maintenance free for the life of the product. We've increased oil drain intervals and oil and fuel filter life to increase equipment availability and reduce maintenance costs. We validated these increased intervals with a high level of engineering scrutiny and field test miles to ensure robustness and never jeopardizing reliability. Thanks, Derek. It sounds like we were able to implement a lot of reliability improvements, especially in the areas of reducing oil leaks and improving the life of components that see temperature extremes, in addition to improving overall engine performance. We look forward to seeing these improvements in the fire service. Next, we'll take a look at the X12, one of our newest heavy-duty engine models. The X12 was introduced in 2018 as a lighter weight engine 
covering the 455 to 500 horsepower range. The 600 pound weight savings benefited fire apparatus designs by reducing weight on the front axle. This gives apparatus committees greater design flexibility in the cab. Today we have Chris Tasnick with us, who is the heavy duty product manager for the 2021 products to talk about additional improvements for 2021. Chris, tell us what your teams have been working on. The X12 features the new CM2450 ECM, which incorporates more efficient calibrations along with additional memory to enable future features. For continued reliability, we kept the same pin alignments, which aids OEM wiring and technician troubleshooting. These changes will also enable future telematics and remote diagnostics features. To reduce greenhouse gas emissions, we increased efficiency through several changes to the combustion recipe. Changes such as turbo improvements, camshaft profile, tuning, and an increased compression ratio. To improve durability, the camshaft gets a material change for an even longer life. Additionally, we released an optional air compressor resonator to reduce noise both inside and outside the cab. The X12 keeps the same industry-leading power-to-weight ratio as the lightest heavy-duty engine on the market. It also retains industry-leading 1,500-hour or 18-month oil and filter change intervals. Most of the greenhouse gas improvements were primarily internal optimizations, which means we're just using existing technology we have a lot of experience with. Since the introduction of after-treatment devices, Cummins has come a long way in reducing customer pain points associated with regeneration events and maintenance. The X12 shares the same serviceable single module after-treatment design as the rest of the Cummins lineup. Introduced in 2017, the single module after-treatment provides smaller physical size offerings, which enhance thermal management, reducing the need to perform out-of-mission regenerations. Additional improvements through ECM logic allow for DPF maintenance monitoring. While most fire trucks won't reach the need to do a DPF maintenance, these improvements will also work as a safety net to ensure changes in duty cycle, environmental conditions, or upstream failures don't cause unexpected downtime on a maintenance component. Thanks, Chris. It sounds like the X12 team has been busy raising the bar to an even higher level. There are hundreds of X12 engines in the fire service now that are getting strong reviews on overall performance. We have over 150,000 of these engines around the globe that have accumulated over 1 billion miles of experience. Next, we'll talk about the X15, which is the highest horsepower engine available in emergency vehicles. This engine has seen continuous improvements in reliability and performance since 1998 when it was introduced. Today we have Anna Mae Hassan, X15 product manager, to talk about what improvements are coming to the 2021 X15. Anna Mae, what's new? The X15 features overall drivability improvements through new software and calibration, as well as air handling improvements with power cylinder changes and an increased compression ratio. Operators will notice improved torque over a wider operating range for less downshifting. The X15 also gets a modified ring pack for reduced oil consumption and reduced engine friction, which increases engine efficiency and helps increase the life of the after-treatment system. The new CM2450 engine control module incorporates more efficient calibrations, has additional memory, and has new features like the EGR-assisted braking. We kept the same pin assignments which aids OEM wiring designs and technician troubleshooting. These changes will also enable future telematics and remote diagnostic features. With changes to the turbo compressor wheel geometry, the X15 features distinct turbo matching across the entire horsepower range to ensure the greatest level of air handling efficiency while maintaining performance capability. Speaking of engine efficiency, we were also able to decrease parasitic losses through a reduced displacement pump and the resizing of piston cooling nozzles. An updated gear train and damper provides reduced noise, especially at idle, through improved harmonics. Improvements to the water pump on ratings less than 605 horsepower 
provide additional pumping efficiency without sacrificing vehicle cooling. The EGR cooler is now more efficient with less pressure drop. This means the turbo doesn't have to work as hard to push exhaust gas into the intake air system. Like the X12, the X15 also includes improvements to the after-treatment system. Thanks, Anime. Cummins understands that performance and reliability are the most critical needs for the fire service. Hopefully, you've seen how Cummins has focused on these improvements while reducing CO2 emissions through better fuel economy to meet greenhouse gas standards without the need to add new technology. Thank you.